Now the alt, last thing I do once I've created uh, the HTML document, you know, I created all my divs. I'm getting ready to start actually designing things. Um, so I created this this style in the code view. All this based on um, you know essentially here's my original concept how uh, graphically how it was. Then I broke all the elements down mentally into this wireframe layout over here which are divs that it's gonna hold everything and then I what I did is I created all these divs in a style sheet like so and I put all the names in there you know they all start with a hash since these are ID selectors and then in my index I went into code view I put all this uh, I opened up all these divs and then I closed them and then I also put a note at the end that's telling me uh, that the that the div in particular which div this final tag is closing now the last thing I like to do is I like to collapse the code meaning if you notice I'll take the whole thing that's open oh well actually let, let me start with an easier example if if the head portion sometimes you feel that the head portion is uh, sloppy and there's too much stuff going on there and you don't want to see it when you're working what you could do is go from from one tag to the other so I'm going from where head opens to where it closes I'm selecting it all and if you notice to the left you get that little line with the pointers over there where if you click one of the pointers it'll collapse it so now it's basically collapsed right I mean you could do this to the entire entire document I'll do it let me see do body over here from from the top of body to the end and then I collapse it and everything's kinda hidden and that's kinda and then when I wanna when I want to uncollapse it, when I want to expand it, uh, I don't think uncollapse is a word, uh, you just click that and there you go. And it goes back down. But I'm not going to really do the whole body, but I would like to do is close each div tag because this starts getting me confused. I'm not good with looking at a whole bunch of lines of code. It just, for me, it starts mentally putting me in uh, not the place I want to be, let's say that. So what I'll do is I'll take now it's important these end notes are important here because in that way you know what it's ending right so I'll just highlight everything in this div you know open I'm talking about style div one I'm gonna highlight all the code with the exception of the comment and then I'll collapse it and that way it's kinda like then I know that's end div one and I'll kinda keep on going through and since these are all let's see I'll, sh I'll show you as I'm going through doing each one of these like so I do something special when I get to so okay so I have st style div one title uh, site title whoa wait a second see I've got to make sure my naming conventions here oh see my comment said I had site title twice I had to check it out remember uh, ID selectors are unique so I can't have more than one reference to it luckily I didn't it was just my comment was incorrect so there I go. But you see, now I start seeing all the uh, errors, the possible errors, and make sure that's all right. And basically, this should start reflecting the wireframe I did. So far, you know, style, site title, subtitle, category, nav bar. So now container, here's what I do for, for this kind of stuff. So here's container. Here's the beginning of my container. It has a whole bunch of other stuff nested within it. But then I'll go down and I'll look until, no, that's main container. I'm trying to close container. So I'm going to highlight all that. Now I have all this highlighted. And, well, actually, I'm not going to, wait, hang on. I'm not going to collapse that. That's kind of, what I'm thinking is that since this is in the same kind of like level with the rest of these things and it's not nested inside of anything, what I like to do is, for one, it's uh, breadcrumbs. Well, let me do breadcrumbs over here and then when I collapse it since it's inside of another one I kinda go to the beginning of this with my cursor I just went left right see how in code view I could my cursor is here at the P maybe it's hard to see but I'm gonna place it right here at the beginning of that box oh, like so and I'll hit tab once just to kinda indent it uh, I like to indent it that way so I see the whole the whole thing so now so I see. Well, I'm sorry. I see that it's nested within container. That's mentally telling me it's nested within container. And then main content has other stuff in it. So what I need to do is take go from the beginning of main content to the end of main content, 
collapse it. Oh, whoops, wait, here we go. Let me do that. Actually, I, I don't even know if I need to collapse it, but oh, shoot. There we go. Now it's there. Now I'll indent that, right? So you see how now div container has the two main elements that's inside of it indented, right? Div container has breadcrumbs and then main content. Main content has other stuff inside of it. So when I click here and I expand this, I notice that here I have these articles that is so now article uh, article header is nested within main content nested within container. So when I close it this way, I'll go not one tab but two tabs. And that's what I'll do because and that represents uh this article header over here, which is inside of main container, which is inside of container, uh, main content rather, which is inside of main container. And I just kind of keep on doing that for everything. And let's see, as I do that, collapse it, one, two. Then I could take my main content. Let's see how this is going to work. See, I kind of like to have this main div right on the same like indentation as where it opens. So now I could take all that and I could collapse it and I'll take my final thing and I'll collapse that as well. And I mean, I could even do container. I think that's probably a little much, but ah, so now why did I do this? I mean, okay, for the record, this doesn't affect the look of this at all. I do all this, and, you know, it takes me a good, when I first start a document, it takes me the first first little bit to do all this, and I do it because as long as I stay organized from the beginning, um, and I do, you know, organize all this stuff for myself, that way, when I get deep into it, and I'm, you know, when I'm worrying about positioning and floating and clears and all that stuff, at least that's my only problem, right? I don't want to have code problems. I need to have code be as good as possible. And once I jump into CSS, I'm sure I'll have my own problems. So, you know, so if we just look at the way this is laid out now, so container has all these elements in it. And if I go to container here, I click once on the little collapsed um, code thing and I open it up, all of a sudden I see there's other stuff inside of it. Oh, look at that. So breadcrumbs is inside a container, and then content is the next thing inside a container. So if I click that and I open that up, oh, look what else is in there. And oh, what's this? Seems like I overdid it. Okay. There we go. And now I have my other three things inside over there. I have, you know, page header, paragraph, and content. And now I have a well-organized document and geez, I'm just glad that's over because that was pretty painful.